Okay, technicians, just want to give everybody a quick review. Now that we're in the heating season, we want to make sure that we don't forget our sequence of operations for defrost. Defrost control boards are going to do three things. We're going to control the reversing valve, we're going to control the heat strips inside, and we're going to control the outdoor fan motor. Uh, there's two types of defrost. We have a forced defrost and we have a timed defrost. This is everything in a nutshell. And just to quickly go over this particular board, when we go into a timed defrost, there is a timer selector pin for 30, 60, or 90 minutes. When the Y call is activated and we have reached the set time, a timed defrost will initiate the reversing valve to switch over, the heat strips to come on, and the outdoor fan motor to shut off. The same thing happens when we go to a forced defrost. On a forced defrost, we have a DFT pin way over here on the bottom right side of this particular board that will receive 24 volts back on it. Once that happens, a forced defrost will initiate and the same sequence happens again. The valve will shift over into cool mode. The heat strips will be activated via the W2 wire and the fan motor will turn off. Uh, once these defrost uh, cycles are over with, the fan motor will come back on. You'll see steam come up. The heat strips will turn off from the outside unit and you'll just be running in heat pump mode and the reversing valve will be sending hot gas towards the evaporator coil, allowing the system to continue to operate until the next defrost cycle. A couple of things to look at are input voltage and output voltage on the low voltage side. Just to put some arrows, we have input going into O output coming out of O, output coming out of W2, an input coming into R, an output coming to the DFT. Uh, we have an input going to one of the DF1 terminals and an output going out to DF2. So if you're forgetting your inputs and your outputs, there it is. Hope this video helps you out. Subscribe to our channel. We're going to get into depth on defrost control boards and how they work, no matter what the model or manufacturer is. Thank you.